iPhone mini color options emerge and they might be louder than expected. The OnePlus 2 just scored some major discounts and it seems to be permanent. And Google's plans for VR are bolder than we thought. I'm Jaime Rivera and uh, you know this, new studio, the same quirks as always, probable audio issues or lighting, but we'll get them fixed at some point. <laughs> this is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today began with T-Mobile as the company has already begun its Valentine's Day deals. If you're in the market for a tablet, for example, there are a couple of forgettable ones on the list, but there is also every variant of the iPad for $50 off. And if you're interested in smartphones, for example, there is buy one, get the other 50% off. So yeah, you'll obviously have to buy one, but then again, these are Valentine's Day deals. They're supposed to make it a couple things. So just find a good friend and buy a phone, man. And speaking of deals, those of you interested in a OnePlus smartphone, wow, the OnePlus 2 just went from 389 to a permanent 349, which makes a lot of sense now that we're getting closer to MWC, and right now the whole news and the buzz are about the Galaxy S7, the LG G5, and obviously the One M10. It makes a lot of sense in the world for companies to try to regain the limelight somehow, and 349 for a OnePlus 2 is just crazy. For me, it's the perfect price tag, so yeah, we would highly recommend recommend you look at that. Now a company that isn't uh, pretty much making any noise about how many smartwatches are sold but is making headlines is Apple. As uh, analysts are kind of fumbling with numbers right now for 2015, links in the description, you'll see the full detail and how much there is still a debate in the numbers here. But it seems that Apple still owns two-thirds of the smartwatch market and then everything else is being thrown away between Fitbit and Xiaomi, meaning no Motorola being mentioned, no Huawei being mentioned, pretty much no Android Wear being mentioned, up to the point where we hope that something new comes to the table just to fix this. And speaking of Apple, we just learned about the possible color options for the iPhone 5SE, iPhone mini, iPhone 6EC, whatever you want to call this thing. And uh, well, even though we are still expecting this to be a smaller iPhone 6, or iPhone 6S, it seems that the color options will also be very close to it. We were expecting different colors like blue or stuff like that, but so far it seems that there is a space gray, a gold variant, and some sort of hot pink. Not rose gold, but hot pink, uh, which is rather weird. But then again, you know how Apple handles its budget market. Uh, we just need to see a budget price tag this time. Stay tuned for that one. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with Google, as it seems that the company is planning something major for VR to be announced at Google I.O. Since that the company is no longer wanting to work on cardboard, meaning no longer accessories that are smartphone dependent, it seems that the idea is to create a new platform, a new version of Android, sort of like what we see with Android Auto or with Android Wear, which is major. Apparently, there is an SDK to come, a lot of really cool things to come with that, but we are, you know, scratching our heads and asking ourselves, and the question of today, what do you think about this? You know, do you think that it's a good idea to create a new version of Android? Would you buy it, for example? Because in my case, it depends on the price tag. I mean, I have no problem in buying an accessory, but to buy a full-fledged smartphone-like type gadget that you strap to your head and it's permanent to your head, I'm not really exactly sure that that would work, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. You can now also watch these videos on Vessel at Vessel.com slash pocketnow. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.